you already know how to do one problem, you can probably go and start to do the other problem, see if you got it right. All right, what I have to do is show you guys how to transform an equation from standard form to vertex form. Um, again, just a quick reminder, here we have something in standard form, and here we have our equation in vertex form. Um, now, when doing a problem like this, again, notice, first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to put, we're going to want to get the form x squared plus bx. So, initially what I'm going to do is I'm going to say y equals x squared plus 9x. I'm going to put a little parentheses around here, kind of separate this, and then to put the plus 8. Alright. Now, I have my form x squared plus bx. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to want to complete the square going for this. So the second step I need to do is I need to find out what my b over 2 squared is going to be. And here, I'm going to notice it's going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to be, um, I have 9 over 2. And that squared becomes 81 over 4. I'm not going to want to leave this as a decimal. I'm going to leave this in fractional form. Now, usually the next step we'll like to say is add to both sides. Or you can also just add and subtract on the same side. But when completing a square as solving, I always like to add on both sides. So that's what I'm just going to write. But if I just add it to this side, I'm just going to subtract it over anyway. So I'm going to subtract 81 over 4. Now I can look at this and I can rewrite this as a perfect square. So I'll rewrite it as a perfect square. So y equals x plus 9 halves squared. And then I have a negative 81 over 4 plus 8. So let's go ahead and do this real quick. Let's go ahead and uh, simplify this. To change these, I have to add these. I have to have them in the same denominator. So I'm going to put that over 1. I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4. So I have a negative 80. So I have a negative 81 over 4 plus a 32 over 4. So y equals x plus 9 halves squared. And then we're going to have 49 minus 49 over 4. Therefore, now I've transferred it to vertex form. So if you have a b that's not divisible by 2, um, that's OK. You can still square it. You can still get the perfect square. And yes, you can have fractions, but it's OK. You'll get through it. Just make sure you just follow your previous forms, of, or just follow the rules of adding and subtracting fractions. So that's how you transfer an equation from standard form to vertex form.